If you're wasting time and energy extracting pavers, we've got a solution for you. I've invented the Quickie Paver Popper to be able to extract pavers in mere minutes. Much simpler, easier, quicker, and cleaner. Super simple when extracting a paver. I'm gonna take the pivoting end here. That just goes in the center of your paver. And then the tail end is simply just gonna slide in. And this little ratcheting feature here allows me to drop that in. At that point, I'm gonna take our hammer. And this can be a steel hammer, nylon hammer, whichever kind of hammer you have on the site. You're gonna to wanna to bang this down until this is down tight. And same thing on the tail end. I'm gonna drive this down in until it's nice and tight. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick up steady pressure, and it's maybe just a little bit tight at this setting. Loosen it up one. You want this basically straight up and down here. So then when I start picking up, I can put pressure, and what I'm gonna simply do, just kinda of tap all these surrounding pavers. And that's one nice part about the paver popper. It allows you to be able to loosen this product up. And you can see the paver slowly lifting up as I'm putting upward pressure. Sometimes what I'll do is flip this around. You can see I've loosened up the one side because that's where a lot of my pressure is. Then I can loosen up this side. All that product in your joint is acting like a bunch of wedges. So not ever a simple task to extract pavers. With the right tools, you can see how simple it can be. So like I said, there really is no easy to extract pavers. It can always be a challenge, but there are some tips and tricks. And one of them is just using your standard cutoff saw to cut that joint around all your edges, and you'll see just how simple that makes. So once I've had all my joints cleaned out, it's just, again, a simple matter of just getting the product on here, the paper popper. I can simply pick up, but you can see how simple then that is to take out. Much, much easier. Now that I've got my paver extracted, it's simply a matter of taking again my favorite popper, setting the head on here, draw it up tight. I can pick the product up, set the tail end in, set the front end in, and I'm good. Another great use for the paver popper would be Say I've laid a nice beautiful patio and I'm looking back and I say, oh, I got a low spot there or say there's one with some discoloration on it. Again, it's just a matter of taking the popper, setting it on here, getting my right length, set it on. I could pull the paver out that easy and replace it. So one thing I wanted to point out on the uh, paver popper, brand new teeth. So we've done a lot of uh, research and development on these teeth. These are heat treated and hardened, but they're extra thin. So we notice now a lot of your larger format pavers are coming in with smaller spacer bars, making it really difficult to get the uh, teeth down into that joint. So we have, we've done some new revamping. So all the new paver poppers from here on out will come with the new teeth and they're also available for purchase separately. If you like this week's tip of the week, be sure to click on the video in the corner of the screen for more videos similar to this. Thank you for watching this week's tip of the week. You can sign up for our tip of the week here you can also watch another one of our videos here. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel below. Now, if you're located in Canada, you can go and get our products at pavetool.ca. Have a fantastic weekend and look forward to seeing you next week.